So Derek, how are you feeling? And, and, and uh, for you, I mean, as healthy as you've been in your career, is this the first time you've ever had to deal with an injury like this? Yeah, it was the first time that I got injured during the season and, you know, had to miss, you know, the rest of the season. So it was definitely different, um, a little adversity, but, um, you know, just glad that, you know, I was able to get through it and have my support system and, you know, happy to be back. How did you like Feel being back on the practice field and maybe what's your excitement level moving forward? Yeah, you definitely uh, appreciate this game a lot more when you're away from it, being away from your teammates, just having that camaraderie and, you know, going to going to work every day and going out to play on Sundays um, each and every week. Definitely miss that. And, um, you know, just happy to be back. I'm um, appreciative of everybody that helped me get to be able to come back and um, contribute during the playoffs. And I'm just happy to be back playing football. How did you feel after getting that extra contact in, in practice yesterday? Say it again? The, the extra contact that you got in practice yesterday, how did you respond to that? How do, how do you feel after that? Oh, yeah, I felt great. Um, you know, just want to get some pads on. Have, ha haven't had them on in a while and get some contact going in. I appreciate those guys coming over to uh, help me do that. And, yeah, yeah, definitely felt good. Yeah, what would be the, the toughest part of, you know, this whole rehab return to play process and maybe what helped you get through that? Um, no, I love football. Um, I mean, it's all I've done since I was five years old. And, you know, it's what I fell in love with. And, um, you know, it's the first time something like this has happened. And, um, you know, just adversity and you just, you just got to overcome it. And um, thank to, you know, thankful for the trainers, um, my girlfriend who was driving me uh, here five weeks straight when I couldn't drive. And, um, you know, everybody that, you know, supported me, Titans fans uh, wrote um, get well letters. I definitely appreciate that. And, you know, just, you know, just, having faith in the man above and, you know, just continue to rehab, continue to uh, get healthy and, you know, being able to have this opportunity right here. You've been pretty much indestructible there, you know, for the for the first several years. The the fact that this injury mm -hmm. has something to do with, with wear and tear a little bit too, you know, is that is that cause for concern looking forward in terms of the, uh, you know, the amount of carries and so forth and the, and the load that you can deal with going forward? No, I don't think you worry about that. I mean, it's football, it's a game of injuries, injuries happen. And, um, you know, you just gotta uh, keep pushing forward. And um, everything happened for a reason. You know, I don't try to get into all the what ifs and this and that, that and this. Just focus on the right now and um, appreciate the journey. And that's all I can do. I like you can pick between, <clears throat> between your feet that right now in terms of cutting right, cutting left, playing thing, how close are you to the same, same on each side? Uh, I feel good. I mean, I have a big steel plate on my foot. That's only different from the from the left foot to the right. But I mean, I, I feel good. Just you know, I haven't did anything like two and a half months. So you know, just getting back out there, getting acclimated to everything, and you know, getting back to being me. What you think you, you can feel? You think you can kind of pick up where you left off? And man, you haven't played the preseason a lot, so I know mm -hmm. people talk about rust. Do you feel like you can kind of step back in and, and be? be the Derek you were at the start of the season? Well, I mean, it, it all starts uh, out here in the practice field and, you know, um, doing everything I can to be ready for Saturday. And that's just, that's then that's where it starts. Just trying to work hard, trying to do the best I can to, you know, be, in the, uh, be the best player I can be for this team and try to um, con contribute as best as I can. But, you know, the work starts out here like it always does. How impressed have you been with the job that they've been able to do without you, Derek, to get to this point, to get the number one seed? Oh, I, I was definitely the biggest cheerleader. Um, you know, it was uh, fun watching them. You know, while I was while I missed playing with them, but did a great job. Um, guys stepped in. Guys who were hungry did a great job running the ball. And you know, overall as a team, they did uh, a great job as well. And for us to have number one seed, get a bye week, and then come into the division around, I guess a good opponent. What about from a mental standpoint, where are you there? Because I know that's a big part of that recovery process from the injury. Back playing football. You know, that's all it is. We ain't gonna get into all that, but <laughs> whatever I can do to help, um, you know, I'm always for it. What do you think of the Bengals on defense and what kind of challenge do they present? They've been good against a run this year. Yeah, they did a great job um, this whole year. And um, watching them against the Raiders, I felt like they did a great job. Um, I know they got a couple guys that, that went down, but overall, you know, they're physical, um, penetrators, um, linebackers. Um, they play very well, experience in the back end. They, you know, do do a great job blitzing, um, um, fast, try to get the ball out, and um, got a great experience. A lot of guys who who, who played together for a couple of years, so we got our hands full and got got to prepare for them this week. Do you think there's something to take in the first hit on it 
it, in a game? To, oh, to... All these questions. I mean, I'm not really focused on that. I'm just ready to go out there and play. If you sit there and focus on all that, then you're not going to be yourself. Advantage, Derek, to, to maybe having fresh legs, you know, not having played, not having had wear and tear for the last three months. Is there a benefit to that going up against, you know, maybe guys who've been playing week after week? Well, I would think anybody who hasn't played in two months will, you know, feel you know, pretty good about their body and where they're at. So. You've been going through this last several months. How difficult was that mentally for you? I know you said it was fun watching the Titans play and do so well, but also how, how difficult was that watching your team and, and being away from your from your organization? Um, it's always hard when, you know, you go down with an injury and, you know, the season's still going on and you love football, you want to play, but, you know, you just got to work through it. And it's always going to be tough times, you know, when something like that happens, but, you know, um, what don't break you makes you so. That's the mindset I had is just continue to rehab, get better, and do the best I can to get back on the field. You also mentioned your support system, how grateful you were to them and for everyone that kind of supported you through these last couple of months. How often did your teammates reach out to you and how much did you feel that support from your team? Oh, yeah, they reached out to me every day. Um, who whoever it was that texted me for each, each game and just, just checking up on me, I definitely appreciated that. And, you know, my teammates are like family, so I definitely appreciated it and um, was rooting for them while I was trying to get back. Did you get a lot of letters? You mentioned letters from fans. Did you did you get a lot of support mail and did you read a lot of it? Yeah, uh, I got um, a pretty good bit of them. And I definitely appreciate it for them taking the time out to um, send love and um, send uh, get well wishes. Um, got some of the best fans in the league, and um, definitely, you know, it was heartfelt messages, and I uh, definitely appreciate it. What was it like there? You know, back when it first happened, like like you said, you've really had no injuries. How kind of shocking was it, not only to learn you'd been hurt, but that you might be out for such an extended period of time? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was definitely um, shocking. You know, um, like I said, this has never happened to me um, my whole career, so. It was just, you know, I was like, well, you know, you know can't do nothing about it now. Uh, try to you know, get surgery and um, start the recovery process. Just try to get back as quick as I can. So you do expect to play on Saturday? Do I expect to play? Expect to play, yeah. Uh, see how this week goes and <laughs> we'll see where, where I'm at on Saturday. How about the opportunity that this team has, being the number one seed, with an opportunity to do something that's you know never been done around here? How much are you guys looking to hopefully take advantage of that opportunity? Um, yeah, you know, we, we definitely know it starts out here and um, continue to get better on all three phases, um, compete, and then uh, get ready for Saturday. But we have a big opportunity in front of us, and we, we want to make sure we stay focused every day in the meetings, in the practice field, and then let it lead to Saturday. That last one, last year when you had a home game chance, how much did that sit with you at the end of that promising season? Yeah, um, you know, not really try to focus on too much of, of last year. You know, that's in the past, but um, we came up short last year and um, definitely want to do the right things this year so that that doesn't happen.